guys welcome to our channel today I'm going to be showing you how to get more frames per second or other known as FPS in Crunchyroll Global Offensive or other known other Valve titles of games like those Source Engine games let's say like Team Fortress, uh, Gary's Mod, Crunchyroll 1.6, Crunchyroll Source and even other titles that I've I have no idea about because I don't actually play a lot of those Valve titles. My most played games like Counter-Strike when it comes to Source Engine. Shall we get to the tutorial now? Okay. First of all, you need to go to this website called www.coderback.com slash programming dash C slash disable CPU core parking utility. Then scroll all the way down here until you find this arrow pointing down with some nice <laughs> green circle around it. You just click on download application executable files. And download it on the desktop for easier access. After you finish downloading it, Go to the show all downloads and you actually click on this on park cpu app then double click this folder until you just select the very bottom one the very third one which is on the center on park cpu.exe double click that yes close the window oh, you don't actually need that anymore and you need to click on check status all right once you get all your CPUs on part yours should show parked Mine is on park because I already did that and I already had had a program, but I actually redownloaded this for sake of this tutorial. So right after it says parked and the value is 100, just click on park all. After you click that, you need to wait for, for a moment until it will unpark all the CPUs depending on how many cores you have. You know, you have on your recent or current CPU that you want to actually use it because most games are you know are not up to that optimized for running you know quad core CPUs most games like to run a dual core even though you have a quad core CPUs because it doesn't matter just that that's just the way that the de developers optimize the game but with this value this is actually a program a program you know which has been done by someone else that can actually go to your operating systems registry settings and changes this easily with just click of a button so you have to you don't need to do that you know manually on the registry settings since if you don't have like if you're not an expert uh, Windows 7 or any Windows uh, ring system user so so most games should run all your four cores if you have a quad core, but I don't actually recommend this like like for six cores. I have no idea because I never own a six core CPU, so I don't have any idea about the six cores. But I do have an idea for the quad core CPUs. This app works pretty well. It, it actually boosts your FPS. It's truly, truly working. So after you finish that, just close close the actual close window button and you need to go to your library on any CS on on any CS title or any source engine game all right after you get to your steam library go to properties and go to launch options you need to actually right click this and just you know, go, click on properties and you need to go to the set launch options. And right here, 
this is my personal do not type the same I did this is my personal set set lunch options only so as you can see there's these options are for advanced users only so man, I'm somewhat on advanced mm -hmm. user <laughs> all right I hope you have a good day thanks for watching this is a really small guide this is my very first time making a great tutorial on this channel and I'm really proud of it and yeah I hope you guys have a nice day actually this is my second time but I hope you guys have a nice day and yeah stay strong take care bye thanks for watching by the way